Knowing how to read a topographic map can be your ticket to some of the wildest places on the planet. The secret, of course, is knowing how to read a topographic map. It's full of symbols and icons that unless you're fully aware of what all these symbols mean, you can get turned around pretty quickly. Let me show you what I mean. In general, a topographic map shows you the contour of the land in terms of elevation and vegetative cover. It's the contour that's so, so important. We've got contour lines all over the map. Maps may vary from one map to the other in terms of how far apart the contour lines are, but there's a really easy way to figure out how they're structured. Thicker lines are called your primary contour lines. Between thicker primary contour lines, there are thinner secondary contour lines. Now right here, we can follow one of these thick contour lines around, and we see it's at 5,000 feet in elevation. You can follow that elevation line around, and you can see that there are lighter contour lines moving up slope. We can count them to get to the next primary contour line. We have one, two, three, four, five. This line is at 5,200. The other was at 5,000. So we know now that there's 40 feet of elevation between each of these secondary contour lines. That's important because when you look at this map, you can see where the contour lines are really close together. That's gonna to tell you that's steep country, be prepared. When the contour lines are farther apart, that's gonna tell you this trail might not be climbing up real steep country. You can even imagine the, the, the elevation and the contour of the land when you see contour lines that stack up like these U's, one after the other in a finger type pattern, tell you that that's a ridge with the land falling down on each side. All kinds of symbols on these maps, but if you don't know what they are, you could get yourself into a little bit of a trouble. You know, a lot of people carry topographic maps on their, on their smartphones, which is a great idea. The problem is most of these maps don't have a legend, so you don't know that that symbol means quicksand, <laughs> which could be something you might want to know. So some of these symbols are pretty straightforward. You know, for a spring, it might be a circle with a little tail out of water. And so you'll know that that's a spring. Others are not quite so obvious. Take a marsh or a swamp. Here you can see it sort of looks like cattails growing out of some water. You see that, you know that's marsh or swamp. If you're a duck hunter, you wanna key in on that. If you're trying to walk, you wanna stay away. In arid western regions, water tanks can be shown by a solid circle or a circle with cross hatches. If you see a symbol with a block and a cross, you know that's a house of worship. A school would be a block with a flag. In fact, most man-made structures, buildings, are going to be squares or rectangles. When looked upon from above, they'll be in the shape of the footprint of that building. If you're paddling, you're gonna to wanna to know if you've got a large waterfall in front of you on a wide stream, or on a narrow stream, a smaller waterfall with one crosshatch across it. If you're paddling again, two crosshatches are gonna denote small rapids. Large rapids that you may want to portage or you may want to fish are gonna be denoted by hash marks going across the stream. Even coastal features are gonna be marked on some of these maps. If you're in the Great Lakes, if you're in the coastal areas, exposed wrecks can be marked by, the, by similar symbols. And of course, you don't wanna fall into an open pit or a mine, and you wanna stay away from mine shafts. Again, they'll be denoted on the map. Now, here's one you're really gonna to wanna to know. A double set of hash marks denotes a four-wheel drive road or an unimproved road. Not gonna be a, a one you're gonna to wanna to take a sedan up. And here's one, a, a gate, now get this one straight. Any gate is gonna be denoted by a line drawn across the symbol for a trail or a road with two dots. Those two dots, think of those as the fence posts and the gate going across. You don't wanna get halfway up a mountain and not be able to make it to the top. You don't wanna to get to the edge of a raging rapid and not be able to cross. Knowing your topographic map symbols helps open up a window to the wild. 
you're going to be able to get to places hunting, you're going to be able to get to places fishing, and more importantly, you're going to be able to get back safely. If you don't know these symbols, they're easy to find. Just go to pubs.usgs.gov. Learn these symbols and you never have to look back.